All right, guys. Hello again. It's so this is lesson 9.6 about once you get in your resume and you put in your uh, inter um, you put in your cover letter that you get that first interview for a job. It's very important. The interview is the first face-to-face -face meeting you'll have usually with your employer. Now, some of you might know the people already, but it's a very key thing that you walk in and show self-confidence in your abilities and to look presentable and nice okay no matter what the job interview um, so same thing that happens here okay we're there's all I want you guys to understand um, with this aspect here is that there are certain things I want you to be able to do today um, there are certain things like this research project finding a job opening you don't have to do that now there are um, links in there that will help you but the cool thing is is as you guys go through this this is another there's hyperlinks all over this page which will help you to figure out how to be um, presentable in terms of getting and being what an employer wants. That's the key factor for all of you, is that when you walk in to get a job, it's that you exude and that you present yourself in such a way that if you walk out of there without a job offer or the employer doesn't hire you, that it's a huge mistake. That's really the way you want them to feel, right? Okay, so first things first is 12 ways to get an interview. Um, let me see if I can get the hyperlinks to work sweet they'll work it'll be a little slow um one of the, the this is from linkedin it's a good site um basically that will tell you guys how to get in um big thing would be um, get referrals think different be different cool things okay a lot of tips um some ways that you'll get an interview would be also if you know somebody um, that's a lot of the ways that my kids got their jobs uh, except for uh, my son devin he, uh, the last job he's got, which he currently has at Panda Express, he basically went in on his own and interviewed and got the job by himself. For you guys, it's how you present yourself, right? Um, the very first job interview my oldest son went to was at Harkins, and I asked him how he went, and he said, well, I just wore a t-shirt and shorts. Do you think he got that job? No. I'm like, seriously, son, you've got to look nice. You don't have to wear a tie but usually a button-down shirt or a nice polo would be good. And then um, you wear pants, okay, whether it's dark-colored jeans or slacks if you have any. It's how you present yourself, right? All right, so how to ace the most common questions. Um, take a look at that. How to dress. Um, it's very important. Uh, there's a guide to business attire. Now, now this has a lot to do with what you're going to be doing as well. I mean, um, I've had conversations in the past with students who say, well, if I want to go and be a tattoo artist, do I show up in a suit and tie? Probably not, um, unless you feel like you need to. Um, would it hurt anything? It's possible. They may look at you and say, wow, he's kind of snobby. But at the same time, it might be a, a new way to for, they might think, wow, we've we've never seen anybody like that. Um, here's a guide on how to dress for attire, right? So two things are coming up at once, right? Dressing for an interview by industry, okay? If I'm in finance, oh, I go in as a suit, okay? Full professional. Um, government, human resources, sales. Um, if you're going automotive, um, you would dress up, but do you have to be in a suit and tie? No. Okay. Trades, same thing, right? Nice slacks and a professional business top. Okay. Um, I think a suit or sport jacket would be an overkill. Yeah. Okay. Because you're going in for a trade. It's what you guys need to understand. Okay. How you're going to represent something. Um, like for hospitality, um, if you're working at Starbucks, um, you would want to go in or, or get a job. You you would have to do the full nines, look nice, and say, okay, if I'm walking in, would I want to buy coffee from this person? Brush your teeth. The answer would be what? Yes. Okay. That's what you're going to. And then here's business attire. Uh, there's a little article in here you guys can watch from Indeed. There's such thing as casual. Casual for women and men. Smart casual. That's kind of the way I would actually go for a lot of people. Um, I try to dress business casual a lot of the times, um, not necessarily business professional where you have the button down joke. I always critical business casual, even as a teacher. Um, so for you guys, use the guide, right? Um, how to deal with the nerves. Um, they have interviews can be stressful. Here's a nice little YouTube click, uh, YouTube link um, that'll kind of get you guys on the way um, of how to get rid of the uh, nerves, right? There's a five minute thing. Look at it. Um, Follow through on it. Hold on. January 2017. Okay. And. Hi, I'm Mike. And this is my. Mike and Jeff again. Okay. Um, 
it's a big thing for you guys that you guys can actually do go through this process and, and watch the tips, right? Um, how not to interview. Um, this is a scene from the Step Brothers. Okay, if you guys have never seen that movie, all right, there's a link that's got edited out, but I don't really want to show it to you right now. Uh, but you guys look for it, and it'd be pretty fun. And then analyzing your first interview. Okay, here's a big key thing. A lot of you are going to go through your first interview. You will probably bomb it. I, n I will never forget the really, when I went for a teacher, the first job interview I had in this new process. I went to a Great Hearts Academy. Um, I had a good interview until the lady at the end of the interview said, all right, teach me a lesson. And I just stared at her because I was not prepared. Um, looking back, there was a lot of things I would have come prepared on. That one was not one of them. Um, she started pondering me questions on me, and I just kind of froze. That's not a good look. Needless to say, I never got a call back. For you guys, that's what you need to figure out. Not only when you go into your interview, but analyze what happened, and then step back and realize what you could do better the next time, right? Um, four things you need to do. Click on that article and figure out. You don't have to do the project. And then there's some key takeaways. Big key thing, guys, is make sure that you understand. Be prepared for an interview. Look at all these hyperlinks. Um, dress appropriately. Ask the right questions. Prep yourself. Have your family members prep you. The more work you do up front, the better the interview process will be and the more you will look like a rock star. Um, so good luck. Um, we're going to cover uh, one more thing about job next week. And then we're going to move in for the final two weeks of May into an entrepreneurship to see if you guys can start your own businesses as well and give you kind of ideas. Good luck, and I look forward to um, talking to you guys again soon.